Hey there guys, welcome back to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the preview for the game on Sunday. Arsenal hosting Crystal Palace at the Emirates Stadium. Should be an interesting game, not a game that I'm getting too excited for to be honest with you, given that there's not a lot to play for this season. The only real thing we've got to motivate us is to get a top three finish, secure Champions League football, finish above Spurs if we possibly can, and then look to rebuild in the summer. But apart from that, this season has been an utter write-off, a dismal end to it. And the only real positive we can get is if we end the season strongly, look to rebuild over the transfer window and then go into next season with a little bit more positivity. But um, nonetheless, playing Crystal Palace, I mean, they're a team that are right at the bottom of the Barclays Premier League table at the moment, but they are kind of adrift from that relegation scrap that seems to be going on with Sunderland, Newcastle, Norwich, etc. And they do seem to be uh, secured as a Premier League club for next season at least. So it's a game in which they won't be too overly motivated. Of course, we've got a fantastic record against Crystal Palace. I think we've beaten them every single time that they've played in the Barclays Premier League since their promotion. So that's one incentive that we've got going into this game. And as the pressure's off us, then I do think we uh, will be able to play a bit more expansive exciting football I'd like to see a pretty much unchanged team from the one that played against West Ham United but maybe a couple of changes in the, in the defensive department maybe I'd like to see Callum Chambers coming for this game as we're in a kind of nothing to lose situation um, I think maybe it would be worth giving him a chance maybe bring Pau Bertzaka back into the team in place of someone like Gabriel but personally I think Wenger's going to stick with the partnership at the back of Koscielny and Gabriel try and mould those two together heading into next season but personally I think it's worth giving Callum James a shout he's played very well whenever I've seen him this season um, you know I'm not too fussed about bringing Pau Bertzaka back in to be honest he hasn't made a great case for himself this season but apart from that I can't really think about too much to change my team in full I think I'd have to go for Pedacek in goal or Hector Bellin on right back Laurent Koscielny Callum Chambers, Nacho Monreal, Francis Coughlin, Mohamed El Nene, Alexis Sanchez, Musa Ozil, Alex Awobi, and Danny Welbeck up top. I do believe at this stage in the season, Arsene Wenger will be looking to rotate the squad that little bit more, seeing and assessing what players will be staying at Arsenal Football Club beyond the summer. I do think we'll see the likes of Olivier Giroud, uh, Kieran Gibbs, etc., playing on Thursday night in that game against West Bromwich Albion. And generally, we'll see a bit of rotation in and around this Arsenal starting 11. Maybe see a couple of youth players come through, such as Jeffrey Adelaide, etc., but I wouldn't pin my hopes on that too much. I just want to say, it's end the season strongly give a bit of optimism heading into next season but overall it's been a very underwhelming campaign I just hope that we've got something to cheer about on Sunday in this game against Crystal Palace just a confidence boosting win um, to put a bit of a smile on our face but it won't be easy Alan Pardew very good manager at Crystal Palace this season although he has been somewhat I say very good manager at Crystal Palace this season when he first came in did very well but this season has been incredibly disappointing with and they their, their squad shouldn't be where they are at, at, at that position in the table right now I do think they've underachieved massively this season especially when they've got the likes of Balassi, Kabai etc in and around that in that uh, Crystal Palace squad but it'll be interesting to see Adi Bayor coming back to the Emirates Stadium on Sunday to say the very least I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of reaction he gets but anyway guys please do get your thoughts on the game in the comments box below my score prediction 2 0 win to the Arsenal please do drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV and as always I'll be speaking to you very very soon